Hours before the bipolar results were out, Kerala's Malappuram was already covered in green. The IOML's PK Kunyalikuti swept the bipoles with a margin of over 1.7 lakh votes in its stronghold that elected late ex-MP E. Ahmed seven times to the parliament. But with IOML as the largest ally of the Congress in Kerala, the party has claimed this as the victory of a united opposition. Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi tweeted saying UDF's victory in Malapuram is a clear message against divisive politics. Congratulations to PK Kunyalikuti and our workers, leaders on the big win. The ruling LDF candidate came in a distant second. But the campaigning aimed at the grassroots mobilization of the left cadre, something that may have helped a sharp jump in the vote share from 28.5% in 2014 to 37 per cent now. BJP, which began its campaign early on, hoped for a consolidation of Hindu votes and a Modi wave, raking up the beef ban controversy even in a constituency where beef consumption is a norm. The party was expecting over a lakh votes. Instead, it actually saw a decline in vote share from 7.6% in 2014 to 7.1% in 2017. Left and right uh, friends, they are... Uh... Their main propaganda is communal propaganda. We have no organizational structure here. We are workers or no workers for the, for working the for the party. With camera person S P Babu, Sneha Koshi for Indie TV.